Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, let's talk about whether or not you need Mac cleaning programs. So I get asked this a lot. People see all these advertisements all over the internet for programs that claim to clean your Mac and give you better performance. There's a ton of them out there. So the question is, do you need these? Now I feel pretty passionate about this. I've been a Mac user for more than 25 years. I'm a power user. I've got all sorts of different Macs. I use them with all sorts of different applications all day long. And I don't use any of these cleaning programs and never have. Let's look at what they claim to do and why you really don't need them. So I went through all the different websites for all these different cleaning programs and they all list almost exactly the same things that they do. They, here's a quick list of some of the items. Clear caches, clear logs, remove trash, remove universal binaries, languages, remove apps, and remove leftover app files. So what's the common theme here? The common theme is files that you supposedly don't need anymore. It will go find them and remove them from your hard drive. So how can removing files from your hard drive improve performance? Well, in theory you're using empty hard drive space as a memory cache. So you're using the memory on your Mac when you run applications and then you're using empty hard drive space to kind of expand that memory. So things that you need all the time when you're running applications are in memory and things you don't need as often are stored on the hard drive. So it's basically the sharing between the hard drive and memory to get things done on your Mac. So the more empty hard drive space the better your performance would be theoretically. Now beyond a certain point you don't need that much. So, so for instance if you have a 500 gigabyte hard drive, pretty modest hard drive, um, you might have say 100 gigs free. Well for virtual memory you may only use 10, 20 gigs of that even if you're using some pretty intense applications. So adding more empty space to your hard drive isn't going to necessarily increase performance. Now if you have those files sitting around is it going to decrease performance? Well, the truth is you've got tons of files on your Mac. The system, there's tons of files. You probably have lots of different documents. You have uh, your photos, all sorts of different things on there. Getting rid of these few files is not really going to increase performance unless you're kind of at a borderline. Like maybe say if a 500 gig drive and you only have about, I don't know, 20 or 30 gigs free, so it's almost all filled, and you use this and maybe you free up another 2 or 3 gigs of space. And maybe you'll see a little bit of improvement there. But you shouldn't see an improvement and say if you have 100 gigs of space and suddenly now you have 104 gigs of space because you did a cleaning. And of course if you really wanted to you can get rid of a lot of this stuff yourself. You don't need a cleaning program to do it. So for instance uh, option go and go to your library and in there you can see there's caches and you can kind of look through the caches here and see if there's anything you don't need. Uh, what you can do is do it by list, uh, bring up the uh, calculate all sizes there and then sort by size and see and see okay well you know Safari's got a large cache which of course it should um, and you may want to look and maybe there's a, an app you just don't use anymore you, you've uninstalled and it's got a big cache in there. This is a cache file so you can just select it and delete it and you've cleared up that space. And if you really want to clean off hard drive space you're probably better off at looking at your own files, your own say iMovie project, seeing which ones are old you can get off there, archive them and, and remove them from your drive. Uh, look at what uh, music or maybe applications you're no longer using and just uninstall them. Uh, that will probably save you a lot more space, free up a lot more space in your hard drive than using a cleaner program that's going to look at little things like log files and little cache files and things like that. But any files that are left over, little things that maybe these cleaning programs would get probably are not really worth it. Think about this. Think about how you can get better gas mileage from your car if you have less weight in your car. So do you take the time to actually look in the trunk of your car and see what you don't need? Maybe an old pair of gloves, maybe a beach chair, uh, you know, maybe just a few kids toys in there. Take them out, take a few pounds out of your car and you get better gas mileage. Well, you're not really going to even notice the difference probably in gas mileage by taking a few small items out. Just like you're really not really going to notice the difference in performance by cleaning out a few log files and cache files. And actually the best bang for your buck for clearing out hard drive space is simply get a bigger hard drive. Now for a lot of us this may not mean actually upgrading the hard drive in your Mac. It may mean simply taking the 30 bucks that you would have spent on a cleaning program and put that away towards your next Mac. And when you get your next Mac realize that well you know that 500 gigabyte drive wasn't enough for me. I do a lot of home video. Let me go and make sure I get a bigger hard drive that's more appropriate for what I do and put that money towards that. That's actually going to get you a lot more per dollar than actually using a cleaning program to take a few gigs of space off your drive.
Other things the cleaning programs claim to do is look for duplicate files, which you could do on your own, you probably should, and also uninstall applications you no longer need, which I don't know how they determine which ones you no longer need. They probably just basically give you a list of applications and allow you to uninstall ones. You can do that on your own. The Mac App Store, it's easy in Launchpad to do that, or just go through your applications folder and run uninstallers and programs you no longer use. And then remember in the future to be a little more frugal in installing applications, knowing they're going to take up hard drive space and will decrease performance by a little bit because of the space they use on the hard drive. Well, what about system maintenance tasks? People ask us a lot. Oh, you know, it, it runs these regular maintenance tasks that'll clean up things in your Mac and make it run better. Well, they no longer even list these on most of the websites because Mac OS X does it automatically. It has done it for many versions. This is kind of an old-fashioned thing from the 90s, from the last decade, where op operating systems weren't very good at running their own little maintenance tasks to clean things out. So if you're coming from old Windows systems or old Mac systems and knew that there's these little mysterious tasks that you could run that would optimize performance, it's not something you need to worry about now with Snow Leopard or Lion because they do that automatically. And another thing these programs claim to do is clean out languages and universal binaries. So universal binaries if you have a very old application that has a universal binary and a binary for Intel processors, um, it will pull a piece of that program out, saving a tiny bit of hard drive space again. And same thing with languages. It might pull out some languages that aren't English or whatever language you use and save a tiny bit of hard drive space. It's just not worth it to go in and tinker with these applications, tinker with your operating system, just to save a tiny bit here and a tiny bit there. You're spending money, you're taking time, and now you've got another application running on your Mac that could actually be slowing it down and presenting you with different tasks and things to do all the time. It's just better just to leave it clean and not install these cleaner programs at all. And I know this isn't a popular opinion. I know if you go to a lot of other Mac websites, they not only recommend these things, but they actually have articles about, you know, where to go to get them, which ones are best, and all that. And there's a lot of advertising there. These cleaner programs advertise at different sites, including MacMost, and they also have affiliate programs where maybe the the uh, different sites get money for each sale that they make. So there's a lot of that going on too, which may make it look like these programs are more required than they are. But my recommendation stands that you don't need any of these cleaning programs. I don't use any of these cleaning programs. You're better off just investing in the future in a larger hard drive if you're running out of space and just staying away from these things and saving your money. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.